Hey guys, part two of, well, part B, I guess, actually, isn't it? Of part three. Um, the first one I talked about, if you didn't see it, go back and look at it. Um, the, the link's at the beginning of this video, if you didn't see it, um, that I talk about this device, um, the Samsung Ative. Um, I already got my fingerprints all over it. Um, the Samsung Ative uh, uh, Smart PC. I got this device from Staples locally here in Flagstaff. Um, and like I said, go back to the first one for a general kind of get to know you sort of thing. Uh, in this one, I will talk about some of the little bugs and problems that I had with it. Like when I first set it up that I had kind of some issues um, that turned out being nothing after all. It was just kind of, I think it wound up being a mighty bad sort of thing. So anyway, um, I don't need to be holding on to this. Might as well put it down nice and softly on the desk. So anyway, um, when I first put it on, if you guys didn't see the unboxing video, I'd recommend you go back to it. Um, and especially this relates to what happened in the about 20 to 24 hours after the initial startup um, video that I had on there too. So if you didn't see that, I recommend going back to see that because um, it kind of connects to that. Uh, some, of the, uh, some of the issues that I noticed in that. So when I first turned it on, um, it asked me for the Windows Live account, like you saw in the startup video. And I couldn't connect to any internet um, because of the way this building is, that I have to download a program, so I didn't expect it to necessarily get online. So um, when I started it up, I was able to connect to the internet, no problem, but I believe, um, in hindsight, that I got so used to this, this device back over here, by the way, is my Arcos 9 um, tablet that I guess you can consider it my little 9-inch tablet, since it still works pretty well. Um, it just doesn't fully do what I want. But because this has got a regular hard drive in it, we have the lights down here, uh, one of which is the hard drive. And I've gotten so used to that on that thing that I didn't know this thing wasn't ready, I guess. And I told it to shut down because I was curious to see how fast it would shut down and start back up again. And I guess it wasn't done yet because when I went to shut it down, it froze up. And then I pushed and held the button to force it to shut down. And that's where all the problems began, is that I couldn't connect to the internet for more than five minutes at a time and when after it would stop connecting, it would say limited connection and everything, and things just would screw all over the place. I have all these images of the blue screen, uh, blue screen of Dell, and I kept getting it, and I photographed it with my uh, my little indestructible camera here, luckily. Um, that it happened, I think, six or seven times uh, in that 24 hours, and how I finally resolved it, short, uh, make a long story short, and make a frustrating story better. Um, was that I got on this computer, uh, my desktop, um, onto the Samsung website and downloaded the driver for the wireless card. And then moved it over to a thumb drive and put it into, thank goodness it has a full size plug uh, for USB on it. Plugged it into there and told it for the drivers to look for it in that location. So um, after that point, problems are all gone. It was amazing. It worked completely. So that's why I say that I think it's a me thing versus the tablet not working. Now, I do have to preface that um, by saying that um, it didn't go without doing something else to the machine. That I Windows 8 has a new feature. If you know about it, then you can skip past this a little bit. But if you don't, it's got something called uh, Refresh that will get rid of all your desktop apps but keep your uh, modern UI apps that you download from the Windows Store. Um, it'll keep those intact but it'll refresh the system uh, if it's acting weird or anything like that so I thought that was the best option and indeed it did start working at that point until a little while later then all of a sudden start having problems all over again so it, so I wound up having to do that method after all. But since then, it hasn't had any problems at all. I've had problems connecting to a secure one at this at this apartment on an AU's campus, but um, otherwise it's connected just fine. I, I haven't had any connection problems at all. And that's the number one problem I had. 
The next one was in the messaging app that um, I think, like I said, this is not a Windows 8, or it's, it is a Windows 8 problem, not a uh, Samsung uh, Series 5 Slate problem. The, you have, what's kind of cool in Windows 8 is that you have this messaging tab right here. And if you go and open it, um, you wind up having like Facebook and all that sort of stuff um, that you can see. So you see up there in the upper uh, right corner that it says connected to and then it's got Messenger and Facebook. And that's because I connected my Messenger app to both those accounts. And um, I realized the connection that down here in the lower left corner you have status. Ah, there we go right there. Um, case in point. Um, that if you look down here in the lower left corner that you have three options available, invisible, and not connected. Um, earlier when I was doing these recordings first um, it didn't have any problems at all and it said it had available and invisible no problem. Um, but now with this not connected issue going on again um, that I can't select anything else so uh, looking it up online that it turned out being a uh, Windows uh, Windows 8 issue that I'm not nearly the only one so it's not this tablet like I said this review is meant for the review of the Samsung Ative um, smart PC it's not meant to be a Windows 8 review because obviously there's going to be bugs and this is one of them right here and there's proof right there in the pudding that yep, still doesn't want to so uh, I initially thought it was something to do with Skype because somebody said that Skype was um, but it turned out not being an issue uh, apparently so that's one of the bugs and obviously like I said that's a Windows 8 issue not a um, Samsung tablet issue so I'll go ahead and close this close this guy on down, obviously pretty responsive, and we're back on the start screen. Um, another one was, uh, I've read on, I'm not the only one with, and this is a uh, Samsung issue, it's even not necessarily the tablet itself, but it's Samsung uh, Windows cooperation there that's causing the problems. So, um, one night I let it go into hibernate mode, thing I was trying to see how long the battery would go, and I woke it up and I start having issues with it there that um, oops, rotate around um, that the pin that comes with it um, you have to see how it, like, I'm able to grab things with the pin and um, when I'm near the surface my finger gets cancelled out, it doesn't accept that at all so um, I was trying to use the pin and I realized that it did disconnect like people have said so that's a like maybe a driver conflict issue. I really don't know, but how I resolved that was disabling Hibernate. I haven't had any problems since with that, so it must be something to do with that. And hopefully there'll be an update coming from Samsung and our Windows that addresses that. So, yeah, that's that was kind of a downer on that, but it, it was a simple fix, um, especially how long this battery lasts. That I really didn't need Hibernate necessarily on this thing. Um, and then the other thing was that uh, there's a few more little driver errors that I get sometimes, and I just updated some drivers today, so hopefully maybe those problems have gone away. But one of them was the, um, the light sensor up here and the rotation sensor, um, obviously working right now. Um, but they seem to be related because when I went into the device manager, um, they both just kind of disappeared. They didn't want to work. Neither one wanted to work. It didn't didn't just like this does right now. Uh, if I can find the right place. Yeah, it didn't do that. It, it didn't adjust. It didn't rotate. Um, the, both of them were related, it seemed, um, together. So I don't know if that's been fixed by these new drivers that I just installed today or not. I'll have to find out, but so far so good. Um, knock on wood. So, um, anyway, so that was one problem I've come across with this thing as far as drivers that maybe is a little more device specific. And then the other thing was that sometimes my audio goes out just randomly. Again, that might be a driver issue, 
Um, may, might have been fixed today because one of them was an audio driver that I installed. But the only the only solution I found to it wasn't disabling and re-enabling the sound card or the driver for the sound card. It was shutting the thing down and restarting it. The old, good old Windows way of fixing things. And it does. It does really. It does fix it. So um, that's that's the t that's the main things uh, right there. It's just that list the the sound uh, sometimes goes out. Um, again, a driver issue, not a a tablet issue, hardware wise. Uh, it's all software. And the pin with coming out of Hibernate uh, doesn't tend to work until you restart it. Um, the rotation and light sensor seem to go out. Uh, I think it's also after hibernation, so I think I got rid of that problem now. And then the other thing was the messaging app with the connectivity that obviously you see right now is a problem, but that's another software thing that Microsoft needs to pick up on that's nothing related to Samsung at all. So anyway, there's your problems for it there. Um, otherwise, no problems at all. Uh, after correcting the Wi-Fi driver and doing all that stuff, this thing hasn't had any problems at all. It hasn't crashed. It hasn't blue screen. I haven't had a blue screen since I fixed that Wi-Fi driver. So it's a really solid machine. Despite what I mentioned there, the five things don't have that turn you off of this device at all because a lot of those things are software related. Um, even the Wi-Fi driver was. So the hardware itself is really good still. And I don't have any problems with it. Um, it is mostly little software glitches. And I mean, that's to be expected with a brand new Windows operating system from Microsoft and a brand new series of the tablet here, especially with the new dual core add-in with CloverTrail, um, or codename CloverTrail, I should say. And then all this is new stuff, so I'm not surprised that there's little glitches like that in here. And luckily, there's a lot less than I expected in here um, for a brand new tablet like this, and I am very happy with it otherwise. That's the five things that I've come across. It hasn't. I mean, sometimes apps force close um, just because they have problems, but that's just that's developers, even for that matter. So anyway, um, there you go. There's the five problems I've had with this device um, balanced against the like hundred or two hundred good things about it. So don't take this part of the review as something saying about oh this is this is a bad tablet. Don't don't buy it. Not at all. Quite the opposite. Just little little bugs and they'll work their way out uh, between Samsung and Microsoft uh, in one way or another or even with the wireless thing that was that was my that was my bad actually and I resolved it so I'm going to um, end this video and uh, we're going to move on to uh, talking a little bit more about its functionality and things like that in the next one and kind of what I found and some little weird things in there all that sort of stuff and maybe give you a little bit of a demo so you can see what it looks like so um, thanks for watching this part of the video and we'll catch you on the next one which will have a link provided uh, right about now